Hello everyone, hope you're all doing really well today. And today I've come to Green Lane Cemetery in Farnham in Surrey. And today I'm going to show you the grave of Ellie Norwood. Now Ellie Norwood, he was born in 1861 and he died in 1948. And he's buried here in Green Lane Cemetery in Farnham. And he's famous for playing Sherlock Holmes in the silent era. And he did a series of films, of silent films, of Sherlock Holmes. And I'm gonna go and try and find his grave. Now, I'm just gonna show you the view from here. quite a nice view of Farnham. Now a friend of mine told me it's hard to find his grave. But I'll give it my best shot. There's no notable grave markers here. Which is a shame. It's an old grave, 1948, of Ellie Norwood. I think his real name was Anthony Brent. And he actually lived in Farnham as well. And I'll give it my best shot. See if I can find the grave of Sherlock Holmes, Ellie Norwood. Ellie Norwood was born Anthony Edward Brent on the 11th of October, 1861. He died on the 24th of December 1948 and he was an English stage actor, director and playwright and best known for playing Sherlock Holmes in a series of silent films. Now he played Sherlock Holmes in 47 films from 1921 to 1923. Now I'm going to go over and see if I can find his grave. Take a look at this map. Gives a rough idea of where he is. Now, as you can see, he's meant to be number three. So, number four is Sir Robert Pringle, which is just down here. I believe this grave here so that's Sir Robert Pringle so that means Ellie Norwood is one of these graves through here so I'll just have another look at the map and Number four, number three. So he's number three. So that grave there is Sir Robert Pringo, number four. So he's probably, probably up here somewhere. So let's have a look. Let's start up here, shall we? Not that one. So 
hard to read these headstones. I can see Edith on there. So it's probably not that one. That's a Edward Burridge. Him. And there is some more. That's got 1878 on it, that one. That's not really that one. Day. There's this one. So there's no writing on that one that I can see. Let's have a look at this one. It's not that one. Got this one here. read that one either. It's a one marked one. There's a few graves here actually which um, might be one of these. Yeah. I'm up a bit too far now. move down a bit more so the dates on that one are, are not correct There's this one here someone who died in February 1961 not that one. So there's number four. So and there's an area here. There's a little bit of marked graves as well. So he's in, he's, he could be in these unmarked, or, or these other ones that don't have headstones. There's a few more, there's a group over there, no headstones. And there's a couple which you can't read. So it's got to be one of them. But unfortunately, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to find it. Because if it is one without a headstone, then that's just impossible. And if it's one that you can't read, then you're not going to know. So I can see why my friend told me that it's hard to find it. So, yeah. So, sorry I couldn't find that grave. But, it's somewhere in there. 
there's a few graves here which you can't read and there's one up over there and then up the end there and up there there's ones without any headstones and that's Robert Pringle number four so he's up here somewhere Ellie Norwood unfortunately I couldn't find him Sherlock Holmes has disappeared <laughs> but never mind that happens like that especially with old graves anyway thanks for watching I will catch you next time take care